Things are moving a thousand miles per hour now, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're doing well, mate. I really do hope that. And of course, welcome back to Chelsea News. What's that? Well, I'll tell you. It's the daily series here on the channel where I reflect on what's being said about Chelsea, mate. Uh, giving you my opinion. More importantly, asking for yours. And boy, oh boy, things are popping off now as Romelu Lukaku arrives in Milan to... Um, finalise his medical and his deal, his return, his loan back to Inter. Chelsea are making serious moves. We always said as soon as the Lukaku situation was sorted, everything would follow quickly. And indeed, that is looking like it's coming to pass. Um, today we're talking about another update on Rafinha, who honestly came out of nowhere. Tottenham and Arsenal were duking it out for him. Arsenal were making loads and loads of skill comps. You know, welcome to Arsenal, Rafinha. Chelsea sneak out of nowhere and offer more money and seemingly convince the player to come to Chelsea, but it's not done yet. We'll, we'll update you on that. And of course, defenders. We're looking at all kinds of defenders and we're going to talk about that in today's video. So thank you for stopping by. I appreciate all of you. Um, please do consider dropping a like on the video to show your sweet love and support of the content. I appreciate that. And everyone is welcome here on Football Therapy. So if you're yet to subscribe, consider doing so, mate. You are welcome. And to all of you new subs and uh, current subs, make sure the bell's clicked so you get notified whenever I upload. Because that's important on YouTube. A lot of people don't get uh, notified when they want to be. And all you gotta do is click all notices on. Sweet man. Oh yeah, also, big thank you to uh, those of you to check out uh, who's checked out my second channel for the vlogs um, on Football Yannick. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I'm just doing a little daily vlogs around my flat and people seem to really like that content. So check Football Yannick out on YouTube or click link in description. All right, let's start. Let's get into it. Um, and while, before we talk about defenders, <laughs> which is wild how fast we are moving, let's give you an update on the Rafinha deal coming from transfer guru Fabrizio Romano. He says, Rafinha deal, key hours ahead for Chelsea as they will try to reach full agreement with Brazilian winger and his agent Deco. That's right, the very same Deco on personal terms. Really important step club agreement for Leeds for 60 million pounds 65 million pounds total fee uh, so Chelsea and Leeds have agreed a fee that is the important thing here Arsenal tried until yesterday and now they are waiting Arsenal are going to be pretty darn pissed off man that Chelsea have come in and done this um so the main important thing is here Chelsea and Leeds have agreed a fee it does not surprise me that Leeds have accepted a £65 million sterling bid for the uh, Brazilian attacker, the 25-year-old. Because that's a lot of money. <laughs> that is a lot of money for, you know, that sort of player playing in that part of the Premier League, of course. £65 million, I think that's including add-ons. So Chelsea might be paying like 50, 55, maybe 60 million up front, and then there'll be performance-based add-ons, as there usually is in transfers. So the only thing remaining is that the player himself agrees terms. Now, by all accounts, according to reports, Rafinha's priority was to play for Barcelona. And I kind of get that. Brazilian wanting sunshine, going to play for a Spanish giant. Barcelona are screwed financially. They just can't do this deal. So it looks like here's a choice between... Chelsea and the North London clubs in Tottenham and Arsenal. Now, of course, Tottenham have got Champions League and Antonio Conte, but I think by all accounts, they didn't push that hard as Arsenal did. Arsenal really, really wanted him. And of course, they've got a Brazilian sort of contingency over there with Martinelli, um, Gabriel. Uh, they got um, There's another one, isn't there? Oh, J well, Jesus is going there as well, Gabriel Jesus. So they've got a few Brazilians, and maybe they thought that was going to help them. But ultimately, if you look at the projects, if you look at the teams, if you look at, you know, the club, like, you know, Chelsea have recently won their second Champions League. Uh, they've been, you know, much higher than Arsenal before. You know, it, it makes sense. Arsenal aren't even in the Champions League. So in terms of agreeing personal terms and, you know, whatever, I know Arsenal probably came good wages, but you'd expect that Chelsea would be able to convince Rafinha to agree personal terms. It looks like this transfer is done. We are going to reference an article from Simon Jones on the Mail Online 
Um, but first, I want to reference something coming from Di Marzio, um, translated on his website. Of course, Di Marzio uh, contributes to Sky and is a respected journalist in transfer world. He's talking about Chelsea and Kalido Koulibaly. So let's read. Chelsea continue to think about bringing a defender for next season. Ruddy right we are. Uh, and to continue to look for City out for reinforcements. And I'm okay with that. Though I'm wary about City uh, strikers. Iguain and Lukaku was the last two that we got. <laughs> Defenders, seemingly okay. You know, just look at Rudiger from Roma. Though it, it took Thomas Tuchel's coaching to get this player out of him. But we still have Thomas Tuchel, so... Uh, after Skriniar and Delict ideas, the Blues are also looking at Kalido Koulibaly. In the last few hours, there was contact with his agent in London. So there's been a meeting in London with Koulibaly's agent. That's what this infers. The high prices for Delict and Skriniar have forced Chelsea to inquire for information about Koulibaly. Of course, Koulibaly is a little bit older. You know, Delict is very young, he's 22, but he's been at the top level since he's a teenager. As Skriniar is, I think, 27. And, of course, Koulibaly is 31. But, you know, next to 38-year-old Thiago Silva, who looked like a kid. Still, though, Chelsea still will want to find, <coughs> excuse me, value in buying younger players. So they've asked about Koulibaly. As his price will be lower due to the fact that the Napoli player has one year left on his contract. So there's two things there. He's in his 30s. Oh, he'll be 31 by next campaign. And um, he has, what, 12 months left on his deal. So that should command a much lower fee. Really, there should be no more than £30 million, if you ask me. But who knows? Maybe they'll try and get more. I think with Delict, they want, like, £70 million, you know, whatever. Many, many people, if you said, you know... I think Koulibaly is actually a lot, a lot more popular. and Well, no, that's unfair. I think there is a group of fans that would much prefer Koulibaly than De Ligt. Um, he's obviously very senior. He's very, very good, commanding. He was recognised as, like, one of the two best centre-backs in the world with Van Dijk a few years ago. I'm not quite sure what happened since, like, if his stock's lowered. Um, but, you know, but he, he can play football. He's cultured. He's a very good defender. He's aggressive. Of course, he uh, is just one Afcon with uh, Edouard Mundi, his Senegalese um, countryman. So there might be a helpful link there as well. Personally, I would be very happy if we got Koulibaly. I think that would be a very good player to get. I feel like Kalido Koulibaly um, would slot into the Premier League quite well, personally. And um, yeah, as a defensive option, again, it's exciting. It's high profile. You know, it's probably more exciting to get Kalido Koulibaly than it is Nathan Ake, though again, to reiterate a point that I've said recently, Nathan Ake uh, is so versatile that this is what Thomas Tuchel likes. Tuchel, again, to reiterate a point from a video or two ago, uh, Thomas Tuchel looked at Nathan Ake to bring to his Dortmund side. Ake, of course, can play centre-back. He can play left centre-back. He can play left-back. He can play left wing-back. And Matt Law reports he can even play CDM, uh, which is five positions. Uh, not that I'd put him in midfield personally. So Thomas Tuchel will like that. I'm, <laughs> I'm almost certain Kalido Koulibaly is just a centre-half. So, and of course, Ake has been playing in the Premier League, being training at Man City with Guardiola. So this is, obviously speaks fluent English, has been to Chelsea before, knows the people there, won't need settling in. These are all like important points that Thomas Tuchel will value. But for us as fans, we'll be hard to get like excited and stimulated about. But Kalido Koulibaly is like this elite European defender that's more stimulating as a fan, right? This is how, you know, being a fan works, essentially. So let's uh, have a look at this article on Mail Online by Simon Jones. Uh, referenced by a few people on Twitter. I know Cy Phillips referenced this. Uh, Chelsea are still pursuing a deal for Juventus defender Mateus De Ligt as they resume talks over a swap deal. Now they're talking about Christian Pulisic joining the Italian Giants when, of course, prior it was, excuse me, Timo Werner. Chelsea have resumed talks with Juventus over a potential swap deal involving Pulisic and cash for Mateus De Ligt. Juventus would prioritise a deal for the USA captain ahead of Chelsea striker Timo Werner, who had been discussed. This is interesting. Juventus uh, are, you know, quite smart as well in terms of marketing, brand, 
you know, whatever. They changed. Do you remember they changed their logo to that J? And and then you also got Ronaldo in because they understood the value of you know image rights and stuff. Maybe they're looking at Captain America over Timo Werner and thinking there's more value there. This, of course, is all speculation. Uh, Th- Thomas Tuchel is set to be backed heavily in the summer transfer market. Boy, does that seem true by the new owner, Todd Bowley, and has made bringing a new defender in his priority. At, at least one, ladies and gentlemen. Delict, as Sports Mail has recently revealed, is one of his prime targets, with the Blues holding interest in him. Despite reluctance to meet his release clause, the Holland international defender is key to Tuchel's plans as he hopes to team him with compatriot Nathan Ake from Man City. Mm, Dutch defenders at the back. Do we like that? Possibly. De Ligt is hesitating over new terms with Juventus, but mainly persuading to get to Stamford Bridge. Mainly persuading that the move will suit him. Chelsea have also spoken about City's fullback, Alexander Zinchenko, and City are keen to sign Mark Cucurella from Brighton. Now, let's quickly have a word on Zinchenko, because many of you guys would be like, oh, Chelsea buying all the City rejects and letting them get stronger. Zinchenko is a good player. And remember, they've been playing Zinchenko as a first choice often. Um, where, and, you know, and, and oof, I know sometimes they, they move, um, uh, what's his face over? The right back, I can't remember his name. And they play Walker at right back. Oh, his name's left me. Anyway, um, Cucurella would be a great signing, of course. I would have loved him to come to Chelsea as a rotational option with Chilwell. But Zinchenko is very good. Although Zinchenko, he, he plays so much better in midfield. Have you seen when he plays for Ukraine and, and they let him just cook in midfield? He's, like, incredible. Um, I think he's a good player. Uh, if we bought him, again, as a, you know, Emerson Alonso replacement, I think that would be good business. I don't think Chelsea fans need to be like, oh, another City project or whatever. I feel like there's an opportunity there and it's just new faces, new opportunity, new dawn, revolution, evolution, Todd Bowley's Chelsea. Inter Milan's uh, Milan Skriniar and Sevilla defender Jules Kunde remain options for Chelsea. This is interesting. While they have also been offered the chance to sign Lazio midfielder Serge Milinkovic Savic. That is interesting uh, let's just finish this off and we'll have a look at that Chelsea defender Ian Matson is wanted by Feyenoord um to replace Manchester United bound Tyrell Malakia Malakia um interesting Milinkovic Savic is a really uh, talented explosive offensive productive and defense he's a bit of an everything midfielder I really, really wanted him a couple of years ago. I was doing videos on him, I think. If you go back on Football Therapy, dig into the archives, you'll find me talking about uh, um, SM... No, yeah, SMN. No, Serge Milinkovic. SMS. Jesus, Jan. Took me a while to get there, but we landed in the end. Milinkovic Savage. Um, Really, really like the idea. And although I don't... I feel like we need a CDM, basically. I don't think we need him. Uh, I like the idea of having, like... Mason Mount more as an attacking eight, Conor Gallagher more as an attacking eight, you know, Mateo Kovacic as a sort of ball progressing, uh, press resistant eight. Similarly, Kante I'd put similarly in that role now as well because he's less of a sort of destroyer than he used to be. And um, yeah, we need someone more to sit in front of the back four, and I don't think Milinkovic Savage is that guy necessarily. Interesting that we've been linked with him though, immense quality, and if there is truth, well, there's. Being offered someone is not saying you want to sign someone, is there? <laughs> but um, because they could be like, do you want this player? He's good. You've got money. We might be like, yeah, he is good, but we just don't think we need him. So no, thank you. We'll see what happens there, though. Interesting times indeed, though. Um, mate, this stuff is popping off at the moment at Chelsea. I'm going to be following it. I'm doing at least one video a day. I'll react to sometimes more. I've reacted like yesterday, two videos. If you want to keep up, make sure you hit the bell when you subscribe. Um, I'm going to be trying to keep you guys up to date as much as possible, giving you my commentary and opening up the conversation down in the comment section below. So do go express yourselves, uh, converse with people respectfully. And uh, once again, thank you to everyone who drops a like and, and indeed shares the video. That means a lot. Uh, thank you to the community for helping spread the football therapy word. Uh, I'll see you very, very soon, mate. Keep it locked. Peace.